Hi guys, back with Bastons. Hope you're well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Uh, a lot of friends of mine and one or two people on the channel have asked me, what do I wear when clay pigeon shooting? So I thought I'd put together a vlog of exactly what I wear. Um, obviously, clay pigeon shooting is predominantly in the spring summer months. Uh, I do shoot in the winter months too, but not really at a competition level. And um, what I wear in the winter months is different from the summer months. So I'll probably put another vlog out um, during the winter months. And of course, what I wear shooting in the field is completely different again. So I'm just going to go through um, all the items that I wear. I hope it's a benefit to everyone. And uh, without further ado, we'll progress. And here we are. I've just laid everything across the dining room table. Uh, and at the base here, I have, I'll start with the base because what I wear on my feet. Uh, don't worry, these are brand new boots. They're not... They have not been worn. And this is what I'd wear on um, my feet, which is a, a good solid uh, boot. Now, obviously you can wear walking shoes as well. I My preference is for a boot. It just gives a little bit more ankle support. Obviously, plenty of grip on that. So uh, on my feet, I have a really thick pair of cotton socks. Cotton is much better because you don't sweat nearly as much. Uh, Man-made fibers tend not to be great. Yes, they may use a little bit of polyester to reinforce uh, the heels and the toes, but you really want something that's about 80% plus uh, for cotton. That way your feet uh, will feel a lot better. Um, pair of jeans, uh, just a simple plain pair of blue jeans, nothing fancy there. A really strong uh, belt, you know, you don't want the jeans to fall down. This obviously has a, a good solid brass buckle um, with it. Uh, on my wrist, and I've mentioned this to you before, I would wear a NATO strap. It's not really what watch I'm wearing, it's what strap I'm wearing. Obviously, the NATO, uh, you tend not to sweat as much when wearing a NATO strap. Um, obviously, if you get any oil or anything or grease on it, it you just wash it. And, it, and more importantly, it will not scratch your um, wood of, uh, well, your stock, I should say, of the gun. Um, main body, uh, I'd wear a t-shirt on the outer layer and then a long sleeve t-shirt on the inner layer. Just obviously gives a little bit of warmth um, and um, a little bit more movement. Try not to wear a collar um, as well. I just feel that interferes with the mounting of the gun. Um, I learned my lesson by not wearing a long sleeve t-shirt. I had a piece of clay um, come down and uh, lash into my uh, right forearm and cut me badly so that's why it gives a little bit extra protection as well and over that obviously a shooting gilet uh, this particular gilet is ambidextrous you know you can be it's applied for right-handed shooters or left-handed shooters like myself um, the ear protection i have the moldings here um, i find that just gives a little bit more freedom than if you were wearing uh, ear muffs when mounting the gun. Obviously, you must wear goggles. Uh, these are actually prescription. I have my own prescription inside. I can change the color lens as well. And um, I find these are absolutely fantastic. And then a cap, uh, always wear a cap. Um, you know, even if it's not sunny, um, the cap will protect uh, your head. I've seen people, um, you know, will not get suffer head injuries, but bits of clay land on top of their head and, you know, it can be quite uncomfortable. So that's what I would um, wear. These are the sort of items I would wear in the spring, summer months uh, to go clay pigeon shooting. As I said, it is different in the winter and I will run through that. And I'll also do what exactly what I wear when shooting in the field. In the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned.